when you turn on the 700 Club. Six, You're watching a program five, that has been on the air continuously three, since 1966. Two, and one. It's CBN's one, two, flagship five, show and one of the longest running daily programs in television history. Probably seen more people come to the Lord through CBN than any other organization in the world. But it, it wasn't me, it was God. It was an unbelievable leap of faith for a man who didn't own a TV set to jump into telecommunications in 1961. I didn't have any money, but a lot of faith, I suppose. So I got an appointment with David Sarnoff, who was then chairman of the board of RCA, and told him that we needed some help and that we wanted to buy some equipment from him. Well, he looked at me and he said, you don't sound like much of a buyer to me. <laughs> Undaunted by skepticism, Pat bought the equipment he needed from RCA, the parent company of NBC, to get the transmitter and camera working. 54 years ago, he switched on the transmitter, framed up the camera, and went on the air with his Bible in hand. The inaugural broadcast of the Christian Broadcasting Network made it to the end of the block, and from there, it never stopped. Over the decades, millions on every continent have responded to Christ as Pat speaks directly to viewers. Lord Jesus, that's right, pray with me. Lord Jesus, you know what I've been through. Today, CBN programming is seen in more than 100 nations around the world. Countries once completely closed to the gospel are now new frontiers. What began in Tidewater, Virginia is spanning the globe. All the best human strategies in the world couldn't accomplish that feat. I wanted to be part of God's plan, uh, and I think that his plan is for world evangelization and to bring millions to the kingdom, and he's let me be part of it. In 1978, Pat was reading out of the scriptures in Isaiah. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe him? With that biblical mandate, Pat started Operation Blessing. Early on, leaders like President Ronald Reagan took notice. Operation Blessing. They've given nearly two and a half million dollars to more than 8,500 churches. And this money is then matched by the local churches. And the result has been fantastic. Now a fleet of trucks crosses the nation providing hunger relief. Water wells are dug on every continent and orphans are rescued. If a disaster strikes anywhere in the world, like Haiti's earthquake, the Indonesian tsunami, or hurricanes Katrina and Sandy, Operation Blessing is there with emergency relief. Operation Blessing is helping the poor and the needy. We, we distribute about 100 million pounds of food and supplies to the inner cities of America every year. Regent University began with 77 graduate students in 1978. Today, over 5,000 scholars are training in the major disciplines. The American Center for Law and Justice was established so that when the rights of religious people are violated, they have a strong advocate in the courts. The American Center for Law and Justice is straightforward. We defend liberty and freedom. And when you defend liberty and freedom and take it as a mandate from God, it's something you do with excellence. And what we do is defend the rights of religious people to engage in free speech, to share their faith in the United States and around the world. Dee Dee Robertson stands in amazement of it all. I have seen more than I ever dreamed I would see. I have done more than I ever dreamed I would do. And it's just been a very exciting life. And working for the Lord is an exciting thing to do. Following His leading and, and doing the things that He wants you to do. I think uh, perhaps more than anything, though, is the, are the numbers of people who have come to the Lord. What I'm doing now is of great importance, which is uh, preaching the gospel.